because we're all sort of reeling from this sh- not not a shock but just a usual state of affairs i guess right now neera we're all looking to you for some support because right now what we're in need for is some therapy because football is not giving us any lease of hope in life what do you have to say to give united fans any hope for this season sit is on his knees give him something oh. good <laughs> i am on my knees <laughs> <laughs> this is the coming season moment. Fergie is still alive, so I mean that's pretty good, I guess. Like considering how old he is. But still, there was no real plan for different teams. There was no like philosophy. The players looked like they didn't really buy into it. Individual talents actually like got you through a lot of games. um you guys won cups which he's which i'm pretty sure in the current press conference also he's reminding everyone that he's won two cups and you beat city to it i get it only team to beat city to a cup for a long time or whatever but it's that's that's all bullshit when you consider the facts and the facts are that united just haven't been good like versus big teams versus some small teams versus uh, tough opponents and they haven't bought well transfers have been shambolic i think uh, the players bought weren't bought at good value and all of this ties back to the manager i think the manager has a lot of veto when it comes to a lot of different things manager also sets the culture of the club which hasn't really been great at united even after the takeover so like to lift you guys up i would just say that today's performance along with whatever has happened this season along with all the backing that ten hag has uh, gotten i think ineos now are going to make a decision and the decision is not looking good for, good for ten hag and i think everyone's going to accept it people who are ten hag in are going to accept it people who are ten hag out are obviously going to accept it rivals are going to be like obviously this was coming everyone will be fine with it so there won't be any division in the fan base anymore right if you would have done this right after the fa cup people would have been like no this is not the right thing to do he won you a cup and winning cups is not to be taken lightly so you have have to give him more support but now after seeing the start of the season i think all united supporters are united together finally into into sort of like believing that okay they have to move on from this good good time eric played champions league with you won two cups beat like your fiercest rival in a cup got tro- trophies crazy amazing man united is ajax 2.0 but time to move on now it's time to move i think ajax have done you guys a big disservice as a club feel like we're back in the same position we were last season where we were like every week we are talking about ten hag is out now ten hag is out now. and the cycle has restarted the start of the season has been really really poor again just winning two games in the league out of six and three to back to back home defeats liverpool 3-0 first 3-0 we have aston villa play we have chelsea to play again so it's it's a tough start of the season it's not looking to be any better plus we have a whole bunch of europa league fixtures coming up for me the thing is it's not just ten hag anymore right we have a whole new bunch of people we have van nistelrooy we have rene hake we have other set piece coaches goalkeeping coaches as a whole overall in the, the club's uh, hierarchy and everything so none of that seems to have had any impact on the football on the pitch football on the pitch is a manager's job and you can just take parallels from chelsea right chelsea they have a new ownership they have new ev- almost everything is new in that club but they have a manager who's a tactician he knows uh, the strengths and weaknesses of premier league teams he's played with, with in the championship so he knows the physicality of the he knows everything and he's doing a really good job <laughs> in understanding the player, player profiles and like uh, setting up his own system which ten hag hasn't been able to do he hasn't been able to set up a proper system yet so i think like just the parallels from chelsea and enzo mereska i think you can 100% say that like the only problem in united right now is eric ten hag i'm pretty sure about that like that's that's what i think and united is a huge club so getting a manager won't be a problem now and i think with the with this new ownership being a huge club like united is i think it's time for a new manager and it could it could really turn around very quickly the season itself and we and we've seen things getting turned around at other clubs in the past like we you need to act quickly you know? like if you for the first nine games of the season doesn't give you a disclaimer into like what it is 
you can't nothing's going to change 10 more games in it it'll only get worse because you can't turn the ship around right like you have to take decisions early enough and i think this is his third year there are no more excuses now everyone's fit like no one's injured also like so i don't get it uh, i don't understand like why he is being so stubborn and not forcing it i get it that like sometimes you're not able to beat small teams but against big teams you are thinking about it day in and day out like you have to set up tactically you can't let them overwhelm you in the first 10 minutes that's not how you like win against these teams and there is a huge mentality difference to that i'm seeing that uh, ten hag is not able to motivate his players like it is maybe the players love him and everything but like if you can't motivate your players to start the game on a positive note hungrier than your opposition i don't get it it's a team that played in europe on thursday against 11 men so tottenham should have been like physically exhausted but you they started like that that speaks volumes and i don't think we should wait anymore if this is new structure new ownership new everything i i want them to act quickly if they really think that this is not the right uh, right man to lead them forward and i think there's seen evidences to like you we've seen ga- week game after game even the southampton game there was a southampton is a, like the bottom fodder dude and that game we needed a penalty save against them to like turn things around that is the only meaningful win that we had fulham was a smash and grab first game of the season doesn't really matter but we haven't beaten anyone like literally anyone so that's the harsh do reality think, do you think it's down to the players because the team is creating chances the team should be scoring more goals we have seen all all the stats that united have had the most number of missed big chances like right? so do, do you think that's down to the loss, manager today's today's loss and liverpool's loss and 20 game in the europa league are not down to players it's down to outright like how you want to how your team needs to go out there and play and like how you set it up right like you have to motivate them you have to send them onto the field as if they are like they are hungry to win games and i don't see that like i'm so sorry i don't see that in our players they're too casual and that's from pomsi go ahead sorry no do it i i I'm with you, and I just want to say that he's not giving them any confidence on the pitch. That's that's so weird, man. Like, and you know, I, I'm I'm I was literally thinking about the shit I've said on his podcast about United, and maybe Ed Woodward was right when he said, "Man, like maybe he he saw this coming, and he was like, yeah, you won the FA Cup, and maybe like Louis Van Gaal was a better manager than than I get this. We just have to accept this, and even then." He was like, no, we need somebody in, and whatever it worked out. However, but it's not the first time it's happened at United. You know what I mean? And Ineos are new to the club. They really knew all this stuff. They got rid of all the people, right? That we had at the club, and you lose inside the knowledge of it, and you know you sort of caved in more into a more authoritarian manager, and maybe getting fresh ideas. So, questions have to be asked. You know, if I was Jim Ratcliffe, and these are the decisions I've made as a team for the club, sporting-wise, I think, I think th- there's accountability there too, right? Like they've caved in, and I think the, maybe sometimes the stats are misleading, and uh, even in Nice, they, they this happened. They tried to get some players, and it didn't work out, and you know, they're they're figuring this out too, as much as they want to brand themselves as the best of everything. Right? Like questions have to be asked. They were, we have a good team there, yeah. right? And uh, you have to, like Nial said, you have to. act quickly pick the also, next one like you have to move out just about questions and not just about the team remember once see what i told you right what you were telling mm-hmm. me i told him that you guys deserve to watch a good team you guys deserve to watch good football because otherwise i mean you're not getting the full experience of anything like you're not getting good experience of tactically what the football has to offer so many things that you're missing out on just because of this manager and his approach to football you're not seeing things properly and that's why you need you need to you need to change you 100% and need the change with the with the with the team that you have it's not enough today's lineup was probably like the strongest lineup we've had in a while all positions were covered but we still had the performance we saw on the pitch and in fact i was watching the ipswich game before the united game today and ipswich was playing so well man like they looked like a team full of life playing in the premier league like working their asses off so that is something that's clearly missing from the side right now but 